Enter. Hi, right, Kev. Ah, George, how good it is to see you. How long has it been since our last meeting? Two days? <laughs> Perhaps we should start making this a hourly occurrence every day and our little meetings can be rather special. Yeah, 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 all right, just, just cut the chit-chat, Kev. Right, I want to get straight down to brass tacks. I saw it's our ASAP Rocky, Kev, all right? Very well, George, yeah. but if you want to get anywhere with me, you must address me as the formal title of Sir. All right, whatever, Sir. Right, well, it's come to my attention that quite recently you failed a geography test. Now, why is that, George? Well, I don't want to waste my time, sir, with learning about the anthropisation of rural environments and the study of Oxbow Lakes. I think it's just a load of bollocks, to be honest, and I need you to actually get that mark up to an A-star. Well, you never cease to amaze me, George. Is there anything else I can do for you? Actually, you could. Yeah, could you get my lunchtime detention rescinded tomorrow? Yeah, Those no are some outrageous demands, George. And I think you should take a long, hard look at your attitude. No, no. That's not the case. Kev, you need to take a long, hard look at your attitude. Don't push your luck, young man. You're right on the edge here. Of what? The edge of being expelled! Sweet naive Kevin, you're the one on the edge. Let me remind you that my father is the district governor of this school. And if you don't improve my test results, I'll tell him that you're a raving alcoholic and that you get the children to supply you with booze. I've seen you Kev, I've seen you stumbling around, pissing on the maths block. George, you can't be serious. I don't want to create a divide between us, but if you're intent on multiplying the severity of the situation, then I'll have no choice but to root out the prime issue at hand here and have you expelled. You can have your pie and eat it, young man. My God, Kevin. What a sad, 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 sad little man. A what? Your life, Kev. Your life is so sad. I mean, what's its purpose? 21 years of teaching and education, all just to flop onto your back and roll over and take a good spanking, hmm? Like a moist, dirty dishcloth. Teaching is a noble profession, and I work hard to ensure that- No, 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 Kev. Kev, Kev, hey, I'm sure that you do. I'm sure that you do, but you didn't have the sack. Did you? To grab Beatrice by the flaps. My wife loves me and is proud of everything I've everything. Your wife is a man! I'm not changing that mark, George. You're a little bitch. I beg your pardon. You're a little Frankie Furter without the brine. How very inconsiderate. You're a dried up bit of skin floating around in a world of decrepit old sweaty men. If I could just get a word in Edways. Your life can be summarised in a paragraph no longer than a scrunched up receipt in the back of your pocket from last night's takeaway. Yet to even use that would be an insult to the tree that had been sacrificed for it to be written down on. Therefore, there is no use to paying any attention to it whatsoever. George, please! Will you change the mark, Kev? Yes, George! Yes, what? Yes, Sir George, sir! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir! Good. Now, get back to my class, maths and 2B. There's yeah. a lot of work to be done there, so... I've got better things to do than lecture naughty, insolent boys <laughs> like you. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Sorry, sir George, sir. It won't right, happen right, again, sir! Again. Fuck off. Fuck off. God. Right, now get out of my sight. Come on. Oh, and Kev, um, one more thing. Miss Haggins is expecting you uh, in her office tomorrow lunchtime with my homework completed. Lovely, thank you. Yeah.